I'm making that face. Hold on. <laughs> Why are you making that face? Because you're funny. You're a weirdo. <laughs> Ya so. Ya so. Ya so. Ya so. What's going on? I'm Moon Rocky, and that makes you Bong Winkle. <laughs> and today is Mystery Box Monday. Yourself. Damn, the titties was flapping on that one. Anyway, in today's video, uh, Daily High Club sent us out the June box. June is, it is my birthday month now. Technically it's not yet because we're recording this video a little bit, a little bit before June happened. But for y'all, it is my birth month. At the end of this month, I will be old. <laughs> er and old. Anyway, Daily High Club sent us out their new mystery box and the homies over at Wildflower Hemp Company also sent me out another mystery box. So maybe we'll try some of this in some of this. I think that's what we're gonna get, get going with this. Anyway, I kinda wanna open up the Daily High Club box for, I just wanna see what the piece looks like, to be honest. Anyway, if you don't know about Daily High Club, Daily High Club is a monthly subscription box for stoners are like, the, they're basically like the number one mystery box, I think, for all stoners. And inside of them, you get a bunch of really cool shit, including, but not limited to, packing peens. I'm, I'm a quick blooper bleep and throw these away. Seamless transition. Probably. <laughs> Probably not. Anyway, um, inside here, we're going to have our glass piece. We're gonna open that first, then we'll get in so maybe some of this stuff. Anyway, the whole box is pineapple related. So I'm going to deductively reason, and use deductive reasoning to assume this is probably some sort of pineapple. If I can find the end of the tape, we'll find out. I found it. Okay, here we go. We're gonna open it like this, bing, bang, boom, inside here you're also gonna get a couple more little bags. And inside here, that's actually super dope. It's like a, it's like a fucking, it's like a pineapple, but also not just like that standard pineapple. This is like, I feel like, like a, what, do you, what am I looking for here? Abstract. It's like an abstract pineapple. Pineapple abstract. You got a couple more little tiny bags, and this one you're gonna get a bowl piece and a dab nail. You can obviously use this for dabs or flour. A dab nail just sit right in there like that. My dad is blowing me the fuck up right now. Oh man, that, I feel like this is like very unstable because the base is tiny, but we gonna use it anyway. We're gonna fill it up. We're gonna take a hit of it. Um, Actually, you know what? We're just gonna go through the whole the whole box first because the box has a bunch of stuff in it that I think we can we can also use for what we about to do. <laughs> All right. So the next thing we got is this. I'm gonna go ahead and say this is possibly a carb cat, which which is awesome because I think we're gonna need that because I think we're gonna do a dab. Today. Let's do a dab today. Let's try this out with a dab. I want to see what the carb cat looks like. It's a pizza! It's a pizza carb cat! Pizza and pineapple harmony. <laughs> I love, I love a wine pizza. I know a lot of people don't. I fucking do. All right, we're gonna take out one last thing that's in here because I'm gonna use it for the video. This is a dabber dock. It's got everything you need to do dabs, except for like a torch and a rig. You got your little dab tool right in the middle. You got some, some silicone parts. You even got a, a carb cap crib where you can put your carb caps when you're done with them. This is really cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna open this now. How does this open? Like this. It's taped. We need the knife again. Betty! Betty, get your ass out here and cut something for me. There we go. 
All right, so let's check this out. This is so cool. All right, so we got a bunch of little things. We got a nice little dab tool. We're gonna use that in a second. We got a little, this is called a carb crib. You can put your carb caps on it, see? Put your carb cap on there for later, for when, when you wanna use it. We got two little, arts. I think this one is for just kinda like holding your tool. Like that, that's nice, this is, this is a cool little thing. You can probably also put a carb cap on there too. 100%, 100% you put a carb cap on there. This thing is fucking dope, man. And you got this little piece, which I think is just for like extras and stuff. Carb caps, dabbers, turp slurpers, uh, you can put your marbles in there, true. Is it stuff on the back? There is. Universal carb cap holder. Turp slurper accessories holder. That's what this one is. So this one's for your marbles and stuff, and your turp slurper stuff. All right, this is fucking kind of dope right here. And this one's the dab tool holder. I was right. Boom, put the dab tool holder like that. Man, this one's also like a suction, like a suction. Like I can stick this to the table. Oh, cool. That's cool. The other two are not. They're just kind of like things, but. Oh. This is very dope stuff. I like this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my marbles in here. Do you have no marbles? You have no marbles. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna fill this up and take a hit real quick. Uh, and to do that, we're gonna open up this because I'm pretty sure Wildflower have always sends me like a good variety of stuff. So I'm sure there's probably gonna be both flower and dabs in here. I'm just, I'm just assuming and praying. If not, I have some dabs that we can use, so it'll be okay. If they, even if they sent like all flour and, and cartridges or something, like, we're gonna figure this out. But I am gonna go through this and open it up and see what's in here. First things first, we got a little letter to law enforcement. Let them know this is all perfectly legal stuff because it's THCA. THC's, THCA is dope because it's literally just weed. It's like they found this little testing loophole. Now they can just deliver weed directly to your door. They threw us a couple pack of fucking uh, papers and tips in there. Now we get into the fun stuff, these bags that open up. Let's see what we got here. This is gonna be some flour, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is 14 grams of Garlotti. That sounds amazing. Like, Ooh. it's chem dog mixed with gelati. It's an indica dominant. Ooh, that sounds fantastic. Sounds right up your alley. We might have to try that as well soon. What do we got here? We got another smaller bag. This one is seven grams of hash burger. It's Han Solo hash plant and double burger mixed together. That also sounds really fucking good. Dang. A lot of flour on the top. Is this more flour? It is. This is definitely more flour. This is seven grams of gold cash gold. It's Oreos mixed with pure Michigan. It's a balanced hybrid. Oh, that hash burger was an indica dom as well. I fucks with indicas. I feel like they know that. This feels like dabs. God, I'm just getting to know how their shit, oh, no. Yeah, I was right, okay. <laughs> this is Gary Payton Live Rosin, one gram. I love some Gary Payton. Is this all? We know we have dabs we can use now, that's good. <laughs> This one is Gushments four grams cured resin. I do love Gushments too. Four grams is crazy. <laughs> What's in here? This is like a big thing. Okay, this is their indoor flower. This is Jealousy and Jealousy Cushmans. It's Jealousy times Cushmans, and it's a Indica Dom. That's fucking great. What are these then? Wait. This is also indoor. Why is this one in a different container? Who knows? Who knows? But it's in one of the, the cool little like pill bottle containers. Containers. <laughs> containers. <laughs> Danny loves them, Johns. Even though she can't open them. Even though she can't open them for shit. <laughs> what we got here? We got lemon cherry gelato, four grams 
cured resin VHO. Damn, Danny's reaching for it. <laughs> <laughs> we also got. Yes, there's more. <laughs> so this nice. is one gram of bird turd live rosin. It's <laughs> that sounds amazing. Bird turd. That sounds right up your alley. Because I call <laughs> Danny a bird all the time. This is the last thing in here. I'm gonna throw the box to the side. We have so much stuff. Oh my god. So much. They sent everything. I'm glad we decided to do a dab today because it's a lot of dabs. This is one gram of garlic breath live rosin. That sounds amazing too. All right, what kind of dabs should we do? We have literally so many. Let me put, I'm gonna throw these, the flowers to the side. Okay, so we got Gary Payton. We got garlic breath. We got bird turd. Those are our live rosins, okay? And then we got gush mints and lemon cherry gelato. Those are our cured resins. All right. Okay. Which one should we do? Um, that one. Which is? The lemon cherry gelato. Okay. It's, it's lovely <laughs> with the word lemon. <laughs> All right. We're going to open up this lemon cherry gelato and take a hit. Oh. We gotta actually open it like that. Okay, here we go. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, that smells really good. Dang. Oh. I know it said four grams. I did not expect it to be that big. That shit looks so fucking good though. Jesus. All right, I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed. Let's Let's just take a hit. I haven't really smoked yet today. I'm all jittery and shit. Cheers. Dang, filled up to the brim with the fridge water. <laughs> Heel yeah. Wow. It's feeling so weird. Can you see that? Can you see it? Maybe. It's like chugging into it. It's like bleh, bleh. That was so weird. Tastes so good. <coughs> we gotta have a little holder for that now. <coughs> Damn. That lemon cherry gelato was fucking good. Really good. Cried a little bit because of how good it was. <laughs> All right, let's get back into the box. There's not much left in here. There's just like a couple little things. We got a little dube tube to hold your dubes in a tube, keep it safe from the elements. We got a pack of, whew, thank God, king size element papers. I was running low, very excited <coughs> to have those back. <coughs> we got a pack of skunk brand, brang. We got a pack of skunk brand mango smoothie hemp wraps. Skunks are good, they're made by Raw. I fucks with them a lot. And we got, an all black clipper lighter. I fucks with it. I love it. I love all black lighters. 
Except for when the sticker fucks up. <laughs> God damn it. Someone there. I'm just kidding. I'm not that upset about this. Just a little bit. The sticker's being mean. It's like really not wanting to come off. Ugh. Uh, and I just dropped it. <laughs> but other than them trying to escape my hand, I love clipper lighters. They're the greatest lighters in the world. They're refillable on the bottom so you can keep them going. They light super easy. The flame gets bigger when you put it on your on its side for bowl hits. And this part even comes out so you can use it to poke down your junk. <sighs> poke down your joints. I swear, I almost call it jotes. I think about the fact that I don't want to call it jotes, and then the word jotes comes out for some reason. Uh, we have a little bag in here with, with a little mat on which to keep our new bomb, which is nice. <coughs> you might really want this because this one seems like a little tipsy to me. Shit, Jesus Christ. A bunch of stickers just fell out of the bag too. Here's what our mat's gonna look like. It's kind of like the box, but different. The box is he's he's surfing. Uh, it's it's just like the box. It's just like the box. So if you like the box, don't worry. You can throw it away because you got this. I know it's upside down. Should have been going this way. But if I did it this way, you'd be able to see our little pineapple guy. How cute is he? These are dope for traveling, especially because you can keep a little weed in the top. His, his head comes apart. You can put some weed in there uh, and they're made of silicone. So if you drop it, it really doesn't matter. The only piece that could really break is like this small glass piece right here. I usually don't try these out, but I kind of want to. I kind of want to. Let's grab some of that tree out, the Garlotti, because that shit sounds so good. I love gelati flavors. I thought it was gonna be like a garlic strain mixed with gelati, but it says it's chem dog mixed with gelati, but I'll still fucks with it because I bet it's still gonna be amazing. Everything Wildflower kind of puts out is amazing. Inside this big black bag, we have this smaller bag with our half ounce, there's a half ounce in here. Oh, that smells so good. Smell that shit. Smell that, Sweet. it smells so fucking good. Oh my God. Right? Oh, I forgot to show off these stickers. There's like this little pineapple smoking a J sticker and this little tiki torch smoking a J sticker and this pineapple hold. We got three stickers this time. Usually they only send two stickers above and beyond with a third pineapple sticker. I love it. I fucks with it. All right, I need that weed back so I can load this up and take a hit so we can good. try it. That's everything in the box. I'm gonna hit some of this um, Garlotti. I'm gonna hit some of this Garlotti real quick. Um, I was gonna say while something happens, but I, I, I guess nothing's gonna happen. It's not like we have like a music artist we can feature here or anything. We really don't. I'm not just saying that to lead into some sort of like music thing. Nothing's gonna happen. <laughs> It's not gonna happen. There is no musical artist being featured right now. That would be cool though. It would be cool if we had someone to feature. But we don't. I don't lie about things. Usually. I just wanna try some of this Garlotti because it sounds so fucking good. Do you like how I have a bunch of rolling trays literally directly next to me, but I still just use the table. I was just thinking that there's a really nice bamboo rolling tray right there. Not even like arms length away. It's like four arms length away. Okay. That was a much bigger hit than I was expecting to take. It was a lot of airflow. I didn't realize these things hit like that. Jesus. Holy shit. I was caught unawares. Even you can't be caught unawares. Anyway, um, that's everything in the Daily High Club box. Big shout out to Wildflower Hemp Company for sending out the THCA products. Fucking love them. They get me exactly where I need to be. Also, a lot of people 
ask me like why I use THCA instead of just going to a dispensary and buying my tree because I have my medical card, my PA medical card, but the PA medical pro program's all THCA anyway. Like all of our, all of our shit is just THCA. One second. Okay, so I quick ran upstairs. I grabbed a couple of like the more popular brands in PA that I had like jars from. This is Essence by Verano. This is 0.3% THC, 22% THCA. You're probably not gonna be able to see that. How about now? This is Insa. This is their Gelato 41 and BWiz. This one was 0.23% THC, 20% THCA. This is red light. You guys should probably already know <laughs> what that symbol is. That's cookies. This one, you're really not gonna be able to see this. I'm just gonna let you know the, the things on it because it's gonna be impossible to zoom in on this. This is 0.06% THC. And I can't even read that. The label's all fucked up. 23.6% THCA. This is good green. This is their cake. This is 0% THC and 25% THCA. Like that's wild, right? 0%. Last but not least, I got some stuff by Cresco. This one is 1%, 1.16% THC, 25.8% THCA. That's probably gonna be really hard because those those letters are teeny tiny. Bunch of shit just fell down. So I mean, these, it's, it's, it's literally the same thing. This is, I'm, I'm literally smoking the same exact thing I can get in the dispensary because all weed is THCA. THCA just converts into regular THC when you smoke it. Chances are the shit you're smoking is also THCA. You just don't know it or like it doesn't show it show the stats on the back like as as much as PA does but like from what I can tell like the stats are so similar between the stuff that Wildflower sends me and the stuff that costs literally like I think I think this thing at Good Green was like $70 for a quarter so it's like it's the same it's the same shit this cookie is like $55 for an eighth and Wildflower will send me 14 grams just, just to show y'all because they're fucking dope ass people. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that shit. And I'm YouTuber, so you do it at the end of the video. At the end of the video. Oh, thank you. All the shit other you, normal YouTubers tell you to do at the ends of their videos, right? God, how do I say that so fast? Well, I guess I don't. Patreons, I will see you for the bonus smoke sesh. Uh, we're gonna finish up this pineapple. Maybe do another dab or something. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Let me roll a J. Let me roll a little joint ski. I haven't smoked a joint in a minute. All right, All right that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, we're, we'll figure it out. Anyway. Patreon, you get to see us empty them. And get to hear about how Danny put on too many layers. And right now, Danny's getting undressed <laughs> behind the camera. I'm just taking one thing off. That's still getting undressed. I guess. Smoothless transition. Wait, smoothless. Smooth smoothest. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I think you're probably right the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares about a stupid star? Gee, Patrick, it seems like you would care a lot about stupid stars, considering you are one.